guys. What's that? Anyways, uh, hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Uh, right now, I'm just getting ready. I just got ho literally home from work. And right now, I'm just about to leave for San Francisco because, well, tonight is the night where uh, I guess being a rumor happens. Fi I mean, finally, right? After two over two years of listening to the soundtrack and me wondering numerous times, like, when am I gonna watch this show? It's finally happened, guys. Today is the day. And what better day to do it than Alexander Hamilton's birthday. Who knows? Who knows what's gonna happen, alright? So, the thing is though, I wanna vlog this, but I'm not gonna be, be bringing this big camera, alright? I'm gonna be either vlogging on one or two devices, my smartphone or my GoPro, okay? So, yeah, I'm just getting ready right now. I'll see you guys in San Francisco, okay? I guess we in the room where it happens, guys, finally. This is it guys, right here. You want to fly, right? Because this is where it's closest to. Not right now, it's really just a matter of finding the theater. I'm never in SF that much anyway, so... And you know, taking BART, oh my goodness. It can be a real trip, depending on who's riding in it and, and at what time of day. You know what, here's one thing though that I've never ever done before, and that is going to San Francisco alone by myself at night. I swear, for the longest time, I've always avoided going into the city, especially at night, by myself. But you know, when you're alone by yourself, it's actually pretty nice. And oh my goodness, there it is. That's the Orpheum there right there. That is where Hamilton is at right now. I'm actually here guys, oh my gosh. I'm quite happy. <laughs> I am, oh my goodness. Okay, right now, I'm probably in the greatest place in the world right now, and oh my god, oh my crap, I am actually fangirling right now. Hold on. I'm actually fangirling myself because <laughs> I'm actually here <laughs> in the room where it happens. Finally, after gosh, two plus years of listening to the soundtrack, reacting to animatics, hoping one day I could finally watch the show for myself, and here we are, guys. Oh my gosh, I'm actually in the room where it happens. Why is merch here so expensive? I am offended. Uh, I'm not sure if this is this highway robbery or is this is the way theaters make money, but I just spent 12 bucks on coffee, guys. And this is coming from a person that has not had sleep in about 24 hours. Cheers, guys. So this is the thing that you get, and this is the theater itself. This is the stage that we know and love. There it is, guys. Now, I don't know about you guys, but if you guys have seen Hamilton, then you guys pretty much know what the stage is like. But wow, it actually it looks pretty intricate seeing it in person. Lim and Mole Miranda was right when he said even the bootleg ones don't do the musical justice. Oh my gosh, guys. That was... Okay, there was one part where I just could not stop smiling. That was the Battle of Yorktown. I've seen the Tony's version with Lin Manuel Miranda and the original cast, but nothing prepared me for how much intensity there was overall. I'm, I, I was smiling from ear to ear. Oh my gosh. And I was close to crying, and I was close to tearing up. And I was also close to tearing up with the Lawrence interlude. This cast, oh my word. I mean, even though it's my first time, I have to say this cast slightly beats the original Broadway cast of Hamilton. Unpopular opinion, but that is, oh my goodness. Ah, I'm happy. 
I am the happiest person in the world right now. <laughs> okay, so act two is coming up, guys. Luckily, I'm one of the few people that brought a handkerchief with me because I know I'm gonna be crying. You know what I'm talking about, T Squad. Stay alive or prize. It's quiet uptown. Who lives, who dies, who tells your story. I'm ready to shed tears, guys. I'm ready to hear Eliza scream at the top of her lungs. That's how ready and prepared I am. <laughs> Drop some knowledge. Sure. Who did not co-write the Federalist Papers? Tom, easy, Thomas Jefferson. In what state was John Lawrence born? Uh, oh wow, it is South Carolina. America, you great unfinished symphony you sent for me. Too easy, man, too easy. The show just ended, and uh, I have no words, honestly, except I am. <laughs> oh, oh, man, I am done. That was a great show, and that was two and a half years in the making. See, why want to see the show, listening to the soundtrack, everything, and all, and all that, much more. So worth it. And I'm grateful for the opportunity to watch Hamilton. Uh, look at that. That's a sight that I will never ever forget that sign. And the show itself, oh my gosh. You know what? Okay, I thought I'd be crying, honestly, what after, like, when It's Quiet Uptown came or when Eliza screamed, but no, actually I did. I was, I was like focused on the initial shock of it all. But nonetheless, it was still a pretty great show. And you know, I think I should wait here for the stage door. Do you think I should wait by the stage door? Yeah. Okay, so act two was pretty much everything they expected from act two, all right? Like, it was basically a segue from act one where, oh yeah, it's, it's all happy, happy-go-lucky where Jefferson shows up, finally. And basically after Cabinet Battle 2, really, that's when Hamilton, Hamilton's plan and life basically turned into sh and all I can really say is, why did Alex do that? He, he basically shot himself in the foot knowing that he's gonna get caught with the Reynolds pamphlet. And then everything that followed, Burn was dramatic, re was really dramatic. And you could just tell by the Eliza actress that she really means it. And then, um, it's quiet uptown. I was, I was trying to cry, but it's just like, whoa. It was way too much. And then, Basically cried with when, what else? Who, who left when Washington, when Washington left and Philip died really. So, and the ending really. Who lives? Who dies? Who tells the story? It's beautiful. Believe me, guys. Two and a half years of listening to the soundtrack, reacting to animatics, seeing the bootleg version and the Tony version from Lin Manuel Miranda all the way to now when I finally witnessed history when I when I was clapping with tears ro rolling down my face that's that's what that's when I knew it was only a matter of time until I got to watch the show and rightfully so and you know what wow this is a much must watch for anyone that loves history that loves musicals that loves that wants to be you know felt with you know with, hit with emotions left right and center really I think I may miss my train home. <laughs> it's gonna be hard trying to get home. And Uber is expensive, so that's not an option. I'm gonna take it. I'm stuck, guys. Ah, okay, here's my train. The thing about public transport is, especially in the Bay Area, there are some stations that there are some trains that don't take you to your station directly, and you have to take a transfer. I'm going back home to Union City, and well, I gotta take a connection. I gotta take a connecting train back home. So yeah, now I can finally talk. The show was fantastic in a beautiful way. Twelve bucks for this though. I thought I'm not a guy behind the bar with hat, but at the same time, perfect for that souvenir.
All right, well, I'm finally home. Turn on the light, make it look better. And flip this out. There we go. Okay, so I'm finally home. Safe and sound, great. Um, even be So, Hamilton, San Francisco. What a night, what an experience. And uh, for those that haven't seen the show, highly encourage you guys to watch the show. It is definitely worth your while and definitely worth your time, your effort, your your, your hard-earned money to see the show, okay? Even if it's the balcony set, you'll be seeing the show anyways, and you, you're basically getting your money's worth, which is what I did, and I, I mean, at the beginning of the week, I didn't even expect that I'd be watching the show, let alone, like, thinking about buying a ticket for the show, but hey, things work out for a reason, and I'm glad I went, all right? Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys liked this video. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video, okay? Alright, bye guys. Bye guys.